Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song by Boston called More Than a Feeling. And we're going to start on a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And we kind of strum just the D, G, and B, then that sounds a D major chord. So kind of shoot for the skinny strings, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major on our, on our intro, we'll talk about some other substitutions for this chord talk about the, the intro lick in just a moment, but we're going to be going to a C major chord. And one way to play the C major is take the first finger and go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And that's basically our progression through our, our intro and most of our verse actually is doing D major, C major, G major, D major. C major, G major. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the D and just tried that a lot. We'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Now the weird part about applying that to our intro and our verse progression is the C major and the G major don't last quite as long. So one way to kind of work that would be doing just a down, down up on each of those chords. So you could do just a C with a down, down up, G with a down, down up to kind of half those chords. So we tried it that way, we'd have D with a down, down up, up, down, C, down, down, G, down, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G, down, down, up. Now what one because of, of where that changes though between the C and the G chord, what can really sound a little bit more like the recording is to do the first down, down on the C and then hit the G chord for the up, up, down, up. So we tried it that way. You'd have D, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G on the up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C on the down, down, G on the up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C on the down, down, G on the up, up, down, possibilities that you may want to experiment with and actually some of these work a little bit better with that intro lick where instead of playing the C major chord the way we're, we're doing it right now we could play something called C major 9 and the way you play C major 9 first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret second finger is going to go to the A string on the on the third fret and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret and you could take the pinky and kind of go to the high E on the third fret and we'll end up kind of removing that pinky later for the intro lick but if you strum just the A string to the high E string that's something called C major 9 and another way to play the G major chord, we'd be doing first finger on the A string, second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and leaving the third finger on the B string, third pinky on the high E third fret. And that's another way you could kind of play your G major. So you want to kind of experiment with that too, kind of working that D with the down, down, up, up, down, C major, non, down, down, G on the up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C major, non, down, down, G on the up, up, down. cool little intro licks that are kind of working around those and one of them is actually working around something called a D sus chord and what a D sus is is where you kind of take the D major and take the pinky and kind of add it in on the high E on the third fret so now I'm kind of kind of using my pinky to kind of play third fret on the high E string so I got first finger on the G string second fret third finger on the B string third fret pinky on the high E third fret and if you strum the top four strings that's called D sus and then what we, we do on our intro lick is actually a little arpeggio of the D sus at the very beginning where you play the D string and then B string and then G string and then the high E string and then kind of lift off the pinky to get back to second fret on the high E string and then third fret on the, on the B and then second fret on the G string. So it's kind of a little arpeggio kind of starting on the D sus and then kind of going back to the D major chord. So you're going to 0, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 
And then when we get to the C chord, we kind of take the second finger and go to the A string on the third fret and do an arpeggio of, of the C major where we got third on the A, open G, third fret on the B string, and then we go second fret on, on the A string, this is kind of implying the G chord, and then open G, and then third fret on the B string, and then third fret on the low E string, and then open G. So we got three, oh, three, two, oh, three, three, oh, 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 three, oh, three, two, oh, three, three, oh, it's kind of that last little part. And, and you kind of hear those bass notes where you're kind of working off the C note and then a B note and then a, a low E string, uh, kind of working those basses, that C, B, G, which is kind of a big part of that riff. So all the way through that intro leg, you've got oh, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, oh, three, two, oh, three, three, oh, oh, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, oh, oh, two, oh, three, oh, three, oh. So we want to kind of experiment with that too. And something else that I like to add a lot of times with a song like this is bass notes. And a lot of times on the very first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you can kind of throw in a bass note for the chord. So for instance, on the D chord, your D string would be your bass note. So you have D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, up, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down. And on the C chord, you have the A string for your bass. So C with an A bass, down, up, up, down. actually where we're using the G chord but using the A string for our bass on our intro part you may want to kind of even think about that as kind of a G slash B chord so you got a G major chord but you'd be using the A string to kind of play a B note for your bass note on that chord so G slash B with an A bass down up up down G slash B with an A bass down up up down and a lot of times on the G chord though you normally use the low E string for Another possibility actually would be kind of throwing in your bass note for the D chord, doing the D bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, G on up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, G on up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, G on up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, G on up, up, down, up, kind of for that intro part. And then basically when we're going through our verse, what we end up doing that progression three times, and then at the very end we get to use our whole strum pattern on a D chord, and then a C major, and then the G slash B. <clears throat> we tried our verse with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have D with the down, down, up, up, down, C with the down, down, G on the up, up, down, D with the D, I'm down, up, up, down, C on the down, down, G on the up, up, down, D with the down, down, up, up, down, C with the down, down, G on the up, up, down. that with our basses though we have D with a D bass down up up down C with an A bass down G on the up up down D with a D bass down up up down C with an A bass down G on the up up down D with a D bass down up up down C with an A bass down G on the up up down D with a D bass down up up down C with an A bass down up up down G slash B with an A bass down up up down up and then we'd be going into our pre-chorus part now as far as the intro lick goes though we, we'd be be repeating that until we get to those longer DCG idea at the very end and on that part if you wanted to you could kind of extend that into that arpeggio that's kind of in the recording where you play the A string on the third and then third on the B open G second fret on the D open E and then third on the B open G and then second fret on the D and then we play second fret on the A string and then third fret on the B open G open D open E third fret on the B, and then open G, and then open D, kind of around that, that last C and the, and, the, and the G chord. So all together you have the D arpeggio just like we've been doing, and then you have the C chord arpeggio, three, three, O, oh, two, O, oh, three, O, oh, two, G chord with the two, three, O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, three, O, oh, O. Oh. And then we'd be going into our pre-chorus part. On our pre-chorus we start on an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And on our pre chorus, we, we go from the A minor chord to a G major chord, and then we end up on a D major chord. 
So the weird part is the A minor and the G kind of half. So we tried that just doing the down, down up on each one. We'd have A minor with a down, down up, G with a down, down up, D with a down, down up, up, down up. Now if you're kind of digging on, on that down, down on the first chord, up, up, down up on the next one, you could do it that way. Down, down, G on the up, up, down, D with a down, down up, up, down up. Or if you wanted to do your bass notes, your bass note for the A minor is going to be on the A string. To kind of work that as a halving thing would be doing the A minor with kind of a bass down up, G with a bass down up, and then in with a D bass down up, up, down up on that free chorus. So you have A minor with an A bass down up, G with a low E bass down up, D with a D bass down up, up, down up. A couple of options there. And then there's a really cool little lead part that kind of leads into that too, where you play 8th fret on the high E, and then 7th fret on the, on the high E string. And then 7th fret on the high E string, we kind of press in and up into the guitar at the same time to kind of get a 7th fret bend. And then 5th fret on the high E. And then we go back to 7 on the high E with kind of that bend idea. And then we take 5th fret on the high E string and kind of put down the 3rd finger on the 7th fret to get a hammer on sound and then do a pull off right after. So it's a hammer on pull off idea where you take the 1st finger on the high E 5th and kind of play that note, take 3rd finger and kind of put it down with enough force to get the sound to carry and then think straight towards the floor to get the pull-off sound. And then right after that, you kind of take the first finger carrying the sound and slide it back to third fret. So we're going five, seven, five, hammer on, pull-off, and then slide back to three. <laughs> so all together, you got eight, seven, seven, then five, seven, seven, five, five, seven, five, slide three. slide of three is kind of that lick that comes in on the pre-chorus part and then from there then we go into our chorus part and our chorus starts on the G major and then we go to a C major chord but then we go to an E minor chord and the way you play E minor first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret second finger on the D string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that sounds like E minor chord it sounds really really sad and then from the E minor we're going to go to a D major chord it sounds really really happy so all together you got kind of G, C, E minor, D, it's kind of that chorus intro, and actually most of our chorus. Now, now those chords are going to kind of half, so one way to do that, that halving, is kind of to do the down, down, up on each one. So we tried it that way, we'd have G with a down, down, up, C, down, E minor, down, down, D, down, down, G, down, down, C, down, down, E minor, down. But then if we try doing that down, down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord, then we have G with a down, down, C on the up, up, down, P minor on the down, down, D on the up, up, down, G on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, P minor on the down, down, D on the up, up, down, G on the down, down, E, I see on the up, up, down, P minor on the down, down, D on the up, up, down, G on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, P minor on the down, down, D on the up, up, down, up. That way too. Now, something else you may want to think about adding too is power chords. And what power chords is is where, is where you play the root and the fifth of the chord instead of playing the whole chord. And that can sound really, really heavy and get used a lot in rock. So if you want to make that really, really thick and powerful, instead of using a G chord, you could actually use something called a G5. And the way you play G5, first finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, third finger on the A string on the fifth fret. And if you kind of strum just the E and the A string, then that sounds like G5 power chord. And then instead of the C chord, you can actually use something called a C5 power chord, where you kind of take that shape and then we're just going to kind of switch strings to the A and D string. So now I've got first finger on the A third, third finger on the D string on the fifth, and now you strum just the A and the D string together, and that sounds C5. And then from the C5, we can go to an E5 power chord, and the way you play E5, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, and then we kind of strum just the E and the A strings together. So we're not working just the low E and A at the same time. And that's called E5. And then from the E5, we could go to a D5 instead of the D major. So we could go A string on the fifth with the first finger, third finger on the D string seven, and kind of strum the A and the D string to kind of get a D5. So you may want to kind of play around with that G5, C5, E5, D5. And if you want that to kind of match the recording, if you kind of take the G and go, down, down, up, down, down, and then go to the C and do two downs, and then go to the E5 for a down, down, up, down, down, and then the D with a down, down, that could really match it really well.
well. So you have G with a down, down, up, down, down, C5 down, down, E5 down, down, up, down, down, D5 down, down, G down, down, up, down, down, C5 down, down, E5 down, down, up, down, down, D down, down. So we're going to kind of play around with that. And for myself, actually, I would almost be really tempted to kind of switch over into something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if, if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now we're kind of dividing that into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. So that, 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 that's called an eighth note. What, what a sixteenth note is is where you divide that beat into four parts. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what I think could be a lot of fun to work with the chorus actually is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, sixteenth note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is like you took the G and did it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you'd be doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So then you have one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you'd be doing an up on two, down on three. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, up, down. Down up down up right along with the one two three four. So down up down up one two three four down up down up down up down up. So all together you got long down 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 up up down down up down up long down 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 up up down down up down up long down 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 up up down down up down up long down 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 up up down down up down up. So if you wanted to, it could be kind of cool to take the sixteenth note strum pattern and then do the down 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 up up on, on the first chord and then the down down up down up on the second chord so we tried it that way you'd have g with a down 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 up up c down down up down minor down 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 up up d down down up down g down 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 up up c down down up down minor down 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 up up d down down up down g down 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 up up c down down up down minor down your bass notes on that too and kind of make it a bass down down up up C with an A bass down up down you might with low E bass down down up up D with an E bass down up down G with low E bass down down up up C with an A bass down up down you might with low E bass down down up up D down D bass down up down up something else you want to kind of try and then at the very very end of our chorus actually we kind of do still kind of working that that G to C chord change da, but then we go to an E flat chord <laughs> and E flat major actually there's a couple ways you could kind of work an E flat major chord one really easy way would be to take the D major shape that we're doing and if you slide it over one fret so now I got first finger on the G string third fret second finger on the high E third fret and the, and the third finger on the B string on the fourth fret and if you kind of strum just the, the G, B, and E, kind of skinny four strings, that's called E flat major. Another way you could kind of work E flat major is kind of as a bar chord. And, then, and one way to kind of do that is to take the first finger and go to, all the way to the sixth fret is kind of a, a full full bar. And then you can kind of take a second finger to the D string eight, third finger to the G string eight, and the pinky to the B string eight. That would be another way to kind of play the E flat. And for myself, actually, what feels even better is to kind of work that as a double bar chord and kind of take the third finger and kind of work it over um, the D, G, and E strings on the eighth string. So I'm kind of working that as a double bar. Another option would be to use an E flat five, which you, you could take the first finger and go to the A string on the sixth fret, and then third finger on the D string eighth fret and just work just the A and the D strings. It's kind of an E flat five power chord. So on that last time through, you can have the G down, C on the up, up, down, E flat, I don't know, through that chorus part. Or if you're doing it with, with the uh, the bass notes, then you have bass down, C on the up, up, down, E flat. Or if you're doing the 16th note strum pattern, you have the G with a down, 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 up, up, C down, down, up, down, E flat. It's kind of this big down. Or if, if you're doing it with the bass notes with the 16th, you have G with a low E bass, down, down, up, up, C with an A bass, up, E flat major. And then we 
go into our chorus tag, and our chorus tag, we, we start on an E minor chord, and then we go to an A major chord, and when you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major chord, we're going to be going to a G major chord, and then there's kind of a quick change there where we do the G major, and then go to a D major chord, and then an E minor chord, but there's this really cool rhythm through that where we have G with a down, down, D on the up, up, E minor with a down, up, and then kind of hit the D chord, it's kind of a down, it's kind of a hit. So we tried that with the down, down, up, up, down, up, you'd have E minor with a down, down, up, up, down, up, hey, down, down, up. Now, if you're doing your bass notes or you're kind of digging on the basses, the E minor would have the low E string for your bass. So you have E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, E minor with low E bass, down, up, up, down, up. And on that first D chord, right after the G chord, you, you could throw in something called D slash F sharp. Um, and what a D slash F sharp means is you've got a D major chord but with an F sharp in the bass. And one way to play that chord is to put the first finger on the low E second fret, second finger on the G string second fret, third finger on the high E on the second fret, and the pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum all those together, that sounds D slash F sharp, which means you've got a D major chord but an F sharp in the bass. So you'd have the low E string for your bass on that chord. Now another way you could kind of play that though is if you take the D major we've been doing and kind of take the thumb and kind of put it over the low E string on the second fret, that would be another way you could kind of work that D slash F sharp. So if we tried the chorus tag with our bass, a down up up down up idea, we'd have E minor with low E bass, down up, up down up A with an A bass, down up, up down G with low E bass, down up, up down G with low E bass, down D slash F sharp with up, up E minor with low E down up. Last part actually there's this really cool walk down where instead of playing the G D E minor you could kind of work a little arpeggio like kind of like the beginning where you play third fret on the low E string open G third fret on the B second fret on the low E string open G and then third fret on the B and then open E open G and then kind of hit your big D chord so you have three O oh, three two O oh, three O oh, O oh, D chord if you're kind of digging that so you could have the E minor with low E bass down up up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, lick, D chord. So you want to kind of think about using it that way too. And then from there we'd be going back into our intro part. So we tried that with our syncopation with the strum pattern. We have the D, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G on the up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C on the down. We'd have D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, C with the A bass, down, G on the up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down, C with the A bass, down, G on the up, up, down, up. Or we could be trying that, that intro lick where we got the O, oh, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, O, oh, O, oh, two, O, oh, three, three, O. Oh. So we tried that with our strumming through our verse. We have the D down up, up down C down down G on up, up down D down down up, up down C down down G on up, up down D down down up, up down C down down G on up, up down D down down up, up down C down down up, up down G down down up, up down up. Or if we're trying that with our bass notes, we have D with the D bass down up.
then we go in back into our pre-chorus part. So we could try that with just our strumming with the down, down, up. We're going to A minor, down, up, G, down, down, up, G, down, down, up. Try that with our syncopation where we got the A minor with the down, down, G on up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or we could try it with our bass notes just half in it where we got the A minor with an A bass, down, G with the low E bass, down, G with the D bass, down, up, up, down, up. And then we could go back into our chorus part. So we try our, our chorus all those different ways. We, we could just work the down, down, up on each one where we got the G, down, C, down, down, G minor, down, down, D, down. Try the syncopation through that. We're gonna have the G with the down, down, C on the up, up, down, G minor, down, down, D on the up, up, down, G on the down, down, C on the up, up, down, G minor, down, down, D on the up, up, down, up. Or we could try our bass notes through that kind of, kind of just bass down up on each one. We got G with low E bass down, C with an A bass down, G minor with low E bass down. Try doing the bass down on the first chord, up, up, down on the second chord. If you have G with low E bass, down, C on the up, up, down, G on low E bass, down, D on the up, up, down, G on low E bass, down, C on the up, up, down, G on low E bass, down, D on the up, up, down, up. Or we could try that 16th note strum pattern that we were talking about. So the down, 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 up, up, C on the down, down, up, down, G on down, 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 up, up, D down, down, up, down, G down, 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 up, up, C down. that with our bass notes with the 16th where we have the G with the low E bass, down, down, up, up, C with the A bass, down, up, down, G with low E bass, down, down, up, up, D with the D bass, down, up, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, up, up, C with the A bass, down, up, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, up, up, D with the D bass, down, up, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, up, up, C with the A bass, down, up, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, up, up, D with the D bass, down, up, down, G with the low E bass, down, down, up, up, C with the A bass, down, up, down, up, and then the very end, that last time I have the G. We got an E flat major chord, and then we'd be going into our second chorus tag after our second chorus. And on, on this part, we start out on the E minor, and then we go to A major, but then there's a quick change to a B minor chord. And the way we play B minor, first finger is going to go across the entire second fret, and we'll talk about some easy ways to play this in a moment. Second finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret, third finger on the D string on the fourth fret, and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord, it sounds really, really sad. But a lot of times when you're just starting out, you just want to avoid the bar chords. There's some easier B minors that you can use, where you can kind of take the top part of the bar chord and kind of work that as a smaller version of the chord. So you can do, take first finger and go high on the second fret, second finger on the B string on the third fret, and the third finger on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you kind of strum the top three of the top four strings, that's another way you can play B minor. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could take the third finger and kind of work them on the D string on the fourth fret and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret and kind of make that a little bit thicker B minor chord. And then from the B minor on our, on our second chorus tag, we go to A major and then we do a G major and then we do that D slash F sharp and then we end up back on A major and then another A major. And you could always substitute in just a D instead of the D slash F sharp, but that, that seems a little weird. The weird part is the B minor, A, G, D are all halving. So if we did just, just our down, down, up, up, down, up through that part, we'd have E minor, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down. down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord, we'd have E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, A on the up, up, down, G on the down, down, B on the up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or if we tried our basses through that, the B minor would kind of have the A string for your bass when you're working that B minor chord. And when you hit that D slash F sharp, you'd have the low E string for your bass on the B slash F sharp. But we could actually kind of have those with just bass down up on each one. So we tried it that way. We'd have E minor with low E bass, down up, up, down up, A with an A bass, down up, up, down, B minor with an A bass, down, A with an A bass, down, G with low E bass, down, B slash F sharp with low E bass, down, A with an A bass, down up, up, down, A with an A bass, down up, up, down up. Or if we want
what it did to we could kind of do that bass down on the first chord up up down up on the second chord so we tried it that way we'd have e minor with louis bass down up up down b with an a bass down up up down b minor with an a bass down a on the up up down to louis bass down it's like a triple up up down b with an a bass down kind of different ways that we could kind of work that part and then from there we'd be going into our solo part and we'll talk about the solo licks in just a minute but we start out kind of mixing up a lot of the things we just talked about but all almost all the chords through our solo are all halving so if we just did just down down up on each chord we'd have D down G down down D down down B down down D down down G down Got the G with the down, down, D on the up, up, E minor, down, up, big D. It's kind of that last time through. But we could also do it with the down, down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord. So we tried it that way. We'd have D with the down, down, G on the up, up, down, D on the down, down, D on the up, up, down, D on the down, down, D on the up. going to throw in our bass notes we can kind of do a bass down up through all our having chords and we have d with a d bass down g with a low e bass down to the slash f from a low e bass down a with an a bass down g with a d bass down g with a low e bass down to the slash f from a low e bass down a with an a bass down g with a d bass down g with a low e bass down b minor with an a bass down a with an a bass down g with a d bass down b minor with an a bass down b minor with a low e bass down a with an a bass down g with a low e bass down up up down with our hit g down down b on the up up e minor down up d or if we did kind of our bass down on the first chord up up down up on the second chord then we have d with a d bass down g on the up up down d slash f with louis bass down a on the up up down d with a d bass down g on the up up down d slash f with louis bass down a on the up up down d on the d bass down g on the up up down b minor with the a bass down a on the up up down d with the d bass down b minor with the up up down b minor with louis bass down a on the up with all these parts and there's some really cool solo licks that kind of come in through that part where you start sixth fret on the G string and then seventh fret on the G and then ninth fret on the G and then seven on the B and then we play that again and then eighth fret on the B and then we do a hammer on pull off kind of like what we were talking about earlier with, with that other lick but from seven to eight to seven on the B string and then do a slide back to fifth fret so we got seven eight seven slide to five and then seven on the G, and then high E five. It's kind of that first leg. So you got six, seven, nine, seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, slide to five, seven, five, seven, or five. And then we go back to seven on the G, eight on the B, and then we kind of do that that seventh fret on the B string, and then we do a hammer on and pull off from five to seven to five up on the B string, and then seven on the G, and then we take five on the B string and kind of do a slide to seven. And then go back to seven on the G string, and then eighth fret on the B, seven eight seven hammer on pull off, and then that slide to five again, and then seven on the B or G string, and then seven on the B, and then seven or five on the B, and then seven on the G, and then six on the G, and then seven on the D. So we got six seven nine seven seven eight seven eight slide to five seven five. Seven eight seven eight seven slide to five seven five seven seven eight seven eight seven five seven seven five seven six seven and then from there then we kind of play eighth fret on the B string and then seven on the B and then eighth on the B and then we do that seven eight seven hammer on pull off and then slide to five again and then seven on the G seven on the high E string. And then we go five on the high E string, and then eighth on the B, and then seven eight seven hammer on pull off slide to five again, and then seven on the B, 
and then G string 7, and then 8 on the B, 7 on the B, and then 5, 7, 5 hammer on on the B string, and then 7 on the G, and then 5 on the B, and then 7 on the G, 7 on the B string, and then 5, 7, 5 hammer on pull off on the B, and then 7 on the G, and then 6 on the G. So A7, A7, and then 7 on the G and then at the end we go 10th on the high E string and kind of do a double pull off from 10 to 9 to 7 on the high E string and then hit 10th fret on the B string and do a slide to 12 so we got 10, 9, 7, so I can't pull off, pull off and then 10th, 12, slide kind of at the very very end so all together you got 6, 7, 9, 7 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 5, 7, 7, 5, 7, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, slide to 5, 7, 7, on the high E, 5, 8, 7, 8, 7, slide to 5, 7, 7, 8, 7, 5, 7, 5, hey, wrong, pull off, 7, 5, 7, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 6, 7, and then that 10, 9, 7, 10, slide as well, and then from that, then we're going to be going in, back to our intro lick again, and we talked about a lot of different ways to do that part, so we could do that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, where we have the D, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G on the up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, with our basses where we have the D bass down up up down with C with an A bass down G on the up up down D with the D bass down up up down with C with an A bass down G on the up up down up or we could actually kind of work those intro licks where we got that oh two three two three two three two three oh three two oh three three oh oh three two three two three two three oh three two oh three three oh and then we're back into our verse part so we did that with our down, down, up, up, down. We'd have the D, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G, up, up, down. times actually until we kind of hit a D chord down up up down up and then we kind of hit a big C chord with a down and then a G chord with a down and there's a little bass riff actually that comes in right there where you can play open A and the second fret on the A to kind of lead into the C chord so if you wanted to actually in the D you could kind of cheat the D by going down down up up and then hitting that bass note the leg where the O2 and then big C big G chord, if you kind of wanted to, or you could even throw in your bass note on that D chord, we have the D bass, down, up, up, O, two, C chord, G chord, and then from there we'd be going back into our pre-chorus part, so on the pre-chorus you could have the A minor, which is that down, down, G, down, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, and then there's an extra D on the last pre-chorus, down, down, up, up, down, up, or we could do that kind of went with our syncopation where we had the A minor with a down, down, G on the up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or we could do that with our bass notes where we have the A minor with the A bass, down, G with the B bass, down, B with the D bass, down, up, up, down, B with the D bass, down, up, up, down, up. Or we could do it with a kind of our bass down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord. We have A minor with an A bass, down, G on the up, up, down, B with the B. Bass down up, up down through the D bass down up, up down up, and then we be back to kind of our, our last chorus, which kind of becomes our outro. So we did that with our down down up on each chord. We'd have G down down up C down G minor down down B down down G down down C down down G minor down down B down down up. Or if you're digging on the sink of
information, then you can have G with a down, down, C on the up, up, down, E on the down, down, B on the up. On the bass notes, you could kind of word that as just a bass down up on each one. So you have a G with a low E bass down, C with an A bass down, you have a low E bass down, D with a B bass down, D with a low E bass down, C with an A bass down, you have a low E bass down, D with a B bass down, up. Or you can work it as kind of the bass down on the first chord, up, up, down, up on the second chord. So you have G with low E bass down, C on the up, up, down, you have a low E bass down, D on the up, up, down, G with low E bass down, C on the up. pattern through it. We have the G with a down, 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 up, up, C down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, C down, down, up, down, C down, 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 up, up, C down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, D down, down, up, down, up. Or we could throw in our basses on that part. We have the G with Louis bass, down, down, up, up, C with the D bass, down, up, down, up, Louis bass. idea we were talking about earlier with kind of that down down up down down C down down E down down up down down B down down G down down up down down C down down E minor down down up down down D down down G down down up down down C down down E minor down down up down down D down down G down down up down down C down down E minor down down up down down D down down and for myself playing it out solo I want to play a big G chord everybody knows to clap so but that's the basics of how you could strum through and play a lot of the licks to more than a feeling by boston so good luck